Welcome to the House of Kittens, everyone. This is Fuket. Today we are playing The Terrible Old Man. A story by HP Lovecraft and game developed by Cloak and Dagger, who are also the developers of A Date in the Park, which is an awesome game, so this should be awesome too. I have not read the story of HP Lovecraft's The Terrible Old Man, so I don't know about this. Uh, in fact, I haven't really read much of Lovecraft's work. I think we only read like one of them in like high school, and that's it. So, might not know what's going to go on. Now I'm kind of wishing that I read this at school. Maybe it was in the library. So, Angelo, when are we going to blow this joint? I said we head out tomorrow. It's a few hours drive to Boston. How long we stay in there for? Oh, I'd say just a night. We gotta keep moving. And then we head back to Arkham? That's right. I've been talking to a guy up there who might be able to get us some action, you know? Strip clubs, dude, hell yeah! Okay. Uh, say, speaking of action, look at the dame over there. She's got something go- It was a strip club, wasn't it? She's got something going on, doesn't she? Wow, incredible. Is that the old man? Zanek? Zanek? Why don't you get your pasty ass over there and give her to Best line. Okay, this is probably why we didn't read it in high school. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Hmm. And get us some beer while you're at it. You've still got some cash from the old broad the other night. Yeah, I got a few bucks left. Yeah, this is definitely why we did not read it in high school. I doubt they're going to have it in like the library too. Because they always don't want to have any cussing in there. I don't have a dime. Hell. That woman was so old she couldn't even get out of the house to spend her godforsaken dollars. Better old Manuel. Oh, better old Manuel. Manuel? Manuel? That's like a Hispanic name here. Spends it on hooch then let it sit there gathering dust for another two years before she bites it. You know, the funny thing is I have a friend named Manuel. I should know this. It was like back in third grade. I was supposed to know that. I'm such an idiot. Damn right. Well then, get us some beer, boys. Alright, left click to interact, right click to observe for inventory and setting move cursor. Okay, back to this action. Definitely excited to do this. Cloak and Dagger makes very good games. So you could check that guy's more games out. He has Mudlark too, but I have not played that. I don't want to endure small talk with the locos of this port. Oh, maybe her? Okay. Of course. It's got- Oh! I had to go ask that dude for beer too. Say there, miss. Can I have a word with you? Leave me alone, greaseball. Wow, I look nothing like a greaseball. Hey, hey, hey. No need for that kind of language, lady. I'm merely trying to conversate. Go conversate elsewhere. Maybe to your mother. Oh, damn. That sucks. Ha! Huh. Struck out again, Sanak. Damn. <laughs> Suit yourself. Hmm. <laughs> this sounds... This is probably gonna be me in, like, the next ten years. I'm... I seem like this guy when I talk to people and then that shit happens. I'm just like, okay, whatever. <laughs> Alright, so I guess I'll go to the barman and ask for the beers. Three bar, uh, three beers over here. Three bars. Where are you going from? Where are you guys from? Boston? Innsmouth? None of your goddamn business. Just give me some beers. Dude, they look exactly the same. They just, <laughs> it kind of looks like they just added hair to that dude. Like, darker hair. Hey, this is my bar. You're, watch your manners, stranger. Folk are he nice here in King Sports. We look after each other. Yeah, they look so much alike. Three beers. Yeah, no need for those conversations. Please? That would be two dollars, my foreign friend. But he doesn't have a dime. I know that was the other dude. Um, how do I check my inventory? Two dollars. It's like, move my cursor somewhere? Oh, there's a menu. Oh, no, I don't need that. Oh, here we go. 
Of course, I played a date in the park. It works this way too. Two dollars right here. Three beers coming up. That's a good deal for two dollars. Holy crap. Gosh darn it, the barrel is dry. I'm gonna have to go roll up a new one. Sit tight. He's gonna get murdered. <sighs> Dicky eating his dinner yet? I swear, we sat a whole chocolate cake in front of his face and he didn't so much as a blink. The boy's been affected. You taking him to Doc Reeves? He'll get to the bottom of it. Well, he's only been acting strange since his run with the old fellow with the other night. I shouldn't let the boy out so late. Dude, that guy looks so weird. What happened? You know that very old man, a former sea captain of the sort? You see him around town. Pays for the groceries and going to balloons. I've heard about him. Yeah, feeble and ancient. I heard he talks to bottles he has lined up on a table inside the house. Calls them names like Spanish Joe and May Ellis. Yeah, a most patek, specular chap. Best avoided, I think. No need to upset such folk. Something you need to teach Dickie. A bit of respect. So what happened with... Dickie threw a stone at his window, you see. Oh, was that like that at the beginning? It was like, he threw a stone at... That's probably the old man's house? Possibly. And the old man caught him in the act. Gave him a good talking to, I bet. Dickie won't talk about what exactly happened. <laughs> oh, dear. He's a stupid boy. You go around throwing stones through old folks' windows, and well, they aren't going to be happy no matter how feeble they are. I told him he's not leaving the house for a month, apart from going to his license. Okay, so nothing happened to him. I thought he got like caught or something and then murdered. All right, he must be quite a scary sight for a young lad to face. Fancy that and using gold coins for currency. The man must be sitting on a fortune. Tell me about it. I heard he's captained clipper ships in the east. Uncountable years back and brought bought back unfold treasures oh damn he's a good freaking captain so so sorry for the wait here's your beers thanks aren't you gonna get one boys you're not gonna believe it you got a date with that broad he wishes oh man you know what, you guys are fucked up. Fuck you. I think we got ourselves a job tonight. Well, spit it out then. Oh. He was overhearing what they said. Yeah. People do that to me in math class. I heard those two chats speaking about a crazy old man who lives in town. So rich, he pays for things with gold doubloons. Heck. Gold doubloons? Yeah, he's got a room in his house where he stands there talking to bottles. And a rich scent, rich and sino old fart. Haha, ha, this sounds like a glitch. Let's get in there tonight and see what goes, what he has to offer. Oh boy, this should be fun. Where's the old man's house then? I don't know, they didn't say. Found out, Sinex. You know, I. Nam I, I want to say Namek so bad. It looks like Namek. <laughs> find out and we may find riches tonight. Say, fellas. What was that you guys were saying about an old man around these parts? Uh, are you really going to tell him just like straight up? And then they're, they're just going to be like, you guys just like, what the hell? What's it to you, stranger? Oh, I just overheard your story. See? At least he's straight up, though. He sounds like a character. Indeed he is. Shuffles about with his cane dropping gold all over the show. Where does the old man live? You said something about bottles. What else do you know about him? You guys from... Uh... Where does the old man live? His house is along the coast. A crumbling ancient pile it is too. One of the oldest houses in King Sports I'd adventure. What's the address? Oh, you're thinking of visiting him, aren't you? Well, clearly. Why on earth would you want to see him for? Well... I'll, I'll just give him a good talking for that stone thing. Maybe that's right. A treasure hunter you are? 
In treasure hunter, no. Good. The last thing we need in this town is outsiders bringing their wayward criminals ways with them. So why do you want to know his address? Why should we trust you outsiders? Uh, we are traveling salesmen. We wish to interview him for a local paper. We are his long lost relatives. We found something that belongs to him and wishes to return it. We're from the tax department. We owe his he owes us money. <laughs> uh I'll say that. I mean, I wouldn't do that at all, but still. Oh yes, what's the name of the local paper then? Shit! <laughs> Damn it! Uh, the Times. <laughs> uh, the King Sports Commune? Damn it! Uh, you, sir, are a pathological liar. Uh, I suppose you want his address. How do you know? Uh, what if I do that again? I doubt it's gonna work. We are traveling salesman. I'll just I'll say that. Oh uh, yes, what are you selling? Shoes. Can we look at the shoes? I need some new shoes. Sure thing. I'm wearing them right there. You're wearing your stock. What better way to advertise? I got boxes of them in the car. Hey, those shoes look very worn. You're full of it, stranger. Lies, lies, lies. Damn, these guys are a lot smarter than I thought. Holy crap. Uh, I'll do this again. It's the Times. No, no, it's the Telegraph. What? Is it really the Times? It's really the Times. The Times. What? Wait, it's none of it then? Where's the none in the above button? We are his long lost relatives. Ah, it's, they have it everything to say for this like what should I say we're his long lost relatives you expect us to believe that you're clearly not of sportsman stock see they know what to say like wow uh, we found we wish to return it ah uh, go back he said something about bottles sometimes people see him through the window with a lineup of curious bottles sitting on the table each bottle has some sort of object inside. Pedellins, some say, and he's been seen to chat with him, waving his arms about. Uh, so he's like, it's like, sort of like a witchery type of thing going on. Maybe he like shrunk them? I'm afraid the old chap has lost his mind. Too much time at sea. He was a sea captain? Yes, though back in the time nobody remembers. Okay. Why would you call him a captain then? Would you not know that he's a sea captain? Like, what other captain could there be, dude? Did you not know he was a sea captain? Anywho, uh, rumors has it that he's been spent decades in the Far East. Okay, you guys from King Sports? Bored and bred. Alright, me too. Where are you from? On a suburb of Boston. City boy, eh? A cosmopolitan type, okay. Yeah, yeah, you could say that. Mm. What do you know about him? You're asking a lot of questions, stranger. Yes, leave us be. Ah, there's like nothing. There's nothing to say. It's like they know now. Do you know about a rich old man who lives in town? Can't say I do. You must. I don't gossip about locals, sir. This is a respectable town. Pa. What can you tell me about the broad over here? What can you do? Okay. She's in there working all the time. Does it look like she's much up to much? What's her line of work? Why don't you ask her for yourself? What can you tell me about those two guys at the bar? Hey, we're right here. Mind your own business, stranger. <laughs> what he said okay let me know when you want to those drinks refilled okay I gotta do my job first really guess I'll just uh, talk to her then not you again I'm busy yeah what well, you working on apart from looking pretty well I might not look busy but my job requires a lot of thinking 
Yeah, what is your vocation? I'm a journalist. Whoa, a big shot. Why am I talking to you? Say, you write for the paper? Yes, the King Sports Daily Star. Interesting. Now get lost before I write an article about outsiders pestering local women in bars. Okay, okay. Put your knickers back on, lady. Okay. At least I know now. So what the heck is with those three answers, though? Just, like, make it up? Here we go. I got mixed up before. We are from the King Sports Daily Star. Nonsense. It's the truth. We are journalists from Boston. We do freelance work. It sounds like the old man could give us a great story. Imagine the tales he must have. Tales of exploration, treasure, and chivalry. You know what? Go ahead. I don't really believe you, but this is getting annoying now. The old man lives up on Water Street. His property backs onto Ship Street near the shore. Thanks, I... It kind of sounds like a lot of bullshit just because he is a sea captain and all that, but we'll go with it. We'll go with it. Fellas, I got the address. Good work, Senny boy. Where is where is it? Back entrance is on the Ship Street by the harbor. Hey, we passed that street on the way here. It's just a few blocks away. Senek, so you take the car. Silva and I will go on foot and meet you at the place. It's better if we arrive separately. Nice plan. Let's go, boys. There's treasure to be had. Alright, here we go. Finally, we're leaving this one spot. It took me like... 15 minutes to leave this because I had no clue what to do later that evening All right, we're all here Alrighty What's the plan boss Silva you and I will go through this here gate Senek, you stay and watch Of course, of course, I'd be the one to stay and watch actually that's better than what they're doing to be honest Don't really have to do much Unless the cops come, that's it. Before we do anything though, looks like there's a light on up there. Snack, can you have a better look? We gotta make sure he ain't watching us. <sighs> okay, we go to the trunk. I'm seriously, you know what's you know what happened. I'm fucking pissed. The trunk is locked by a solitary padlock. Talk to Silva because he has the key for the trunk. All right, do you have the key to the trunk? Oh, balls, I do, here you go. Thought it was funny the first time, but not for like the fourth time, I'm sick of doing this. Just, I wanna have fun, seriously, but the camera don't want, don't want me to have fun. Fucking class 10, seriously. Okay, a good robber always comes prepared. We got a spyglass, a crowbar, and some masks. 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 That's so hard to say. I like, can can people do that? Can you say masks? It's like I wanna hear it because it's so hard for me to say that. It's like adding the K to that and then an S is just Oh, they sound so much alike. You just cannot do it. And every time I say it, everyone's like laughing because I it sounds like I'm saying masses. It's like the fuck. All right, let's look through the window. That's some cool animation, gotta say. He's in there, the silly old fool looks like the easiest target we ever had. Good work, Sinek. How's he the easiest target? He looks like he could be like some sort of wizard. He really is talking to a bunch of old bottles. It kind of looked like he was like holding a wand or something. I doubt he was, but it looked like it was. As long as we are quiet out here, he shouldn't notice us. He is engrossed in his queer little pursuits. Pathetic. You got our masks, then? Yes, I do. I just send it to them. Did I just like talk to one person and then they all wear it? Yep. Okay, get that gate open. Uh, the crowbar. Alright, here we go. Ha! Huh, we're in. Good work, Sinek. 
Okay, Silva, let's go in. How are we gonna play it, boss? The old sea dog might not be too loquacious concerning his treasures. We may need to make him talk. That's if the gold is even hidden. If he is as senile as we suspect, he may have stacks of it piled up all around. Don't go too hard on the old goat. We'll do what we need to. The screams of an old man can be easily muffled. Silva, you've hit the nail on the head. Sanak, wait for us in the car. We should be back in an hour, at the most. Sounds like a plan, Ricky. Hmm. Remember, be gentle. <laughs> so polite. Such a polite criminal. <laughs> And we play the waiting game now. Old man leaves. <laughs> Pretty clear. Wait, didn't we have something to do with the light? I just now realized that. We just left the light on. So he pretty much saw us. Is there a way to like cut the light off? What the hell is taking them so long? Yeah, that's one thing that we didn't do. Like, we didn't cut off the light. See, now... They're fucked. What happened? They better not have knocked the old fella off. It didn't sound like it could be an old fella. I told them. I told them. I said, don't go too hard on the old goat. Yeah, you did. Ah, here they come. He looks so innocent. <laughs> he looks like Hunchback. <laughs> Look at his face. It's like liquefying up. It's like bolting up on the liquefying. Oh, okay, there we are. Oh, wait, so he didn't... Why was he doing the bottle thing then? So he didn't like shrink us little or anything. Things make considerable excitement in little towns, which is the reason that Kingsport people talked all that spring and summer about the three unidentifiable bodies, horribly slashed as with many cutlasses and horribly mangled as by the tread of many cruel boot heels, which the tide washed in. Don't underestimate the old people, man. They can do shit, man. Seriously, they can. I'm not lying about that. That's not a joke. Some of them are actually pretty powerful. The bottle thing, though, I don't understand. I'm going to have to go read, like, the actual story. Maybe it'll have more information because this was pretty interesting. I want to read more about this. Like, I want to know more. Like, why, why was he, like, talking to those bottles? And, uh, like, how... An old man like that, just like with a crane, like he was holding a fucking crane. And he killed them like this, like how? That's amazing, he must like have some magical powers, he's a fucking wizard. Doesn't look like a wizard, but he's a fucking wizard, dude. That was a pretty sick story. HP Lovecraft actually makes really good stories from what we're seeing here. Cloak and Dagger, thank you so much for making this game. I look definitely look forward to playing even more because I love the date in the park, I love this. And I might even love Mudlark. I haven't even played that, but I'm definitely looking forward to play that if people are actually interested in seeing that. But I think it takes like a few parts, and I don't think people would actually watch it because it's more of an old type of game now. So people want to stick with the whole recent games. But I hope you guys enjoyed The Terrible Old Man. I think that's it, isn't it? Oh no, it keeps going. And some people even spoke of things as trivial as the deserted motor car found on Ship Street or certain especially inhuman cries, probably of a stray animal or migratory bird, heard in the night by wakeful citizens. But in this idle village gossip, the terrible old man took no interest at all. He was by nature reserved, and when one is aged and feeble, one's reserve is doubly strong. Exactly. 
Besides, so ancient a sea captain must have witnessed scores of things much more stirring than the far-off days of his unremembered youth. Hmm. That was it? Ah! Okay. Very, very interesting. That is one creepy old man, dude. <laughs> okay. This is like a movie, kind of. Like, maybe like a school project movie with the credits. Anywho, yeah, that's the end of this gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed the terrible old man and Cloak and Daggers games. Definitely looking forward to play even more if he makes more, but I have a feeling that he'll make more because they're so freaking good. Ah, uh, end of the game now, so lights up. Hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay of A Terrible Old Man, and subscribe in the outro if you have not. Share this with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. As always, stay out skin, stay out skin, stay out skin, get army. I will see you then.